Hi guys, Mrs. Novello here in the Expressive Arts Room and today we're going to sew our pincushion. So you have two pieces of fabric. Remember how we place the stickers on the fabric softener. When you get those two pieces of fabric, you're going to find the pattern side and you're going to stack them evenly on top of each other, pattern touching pattern. Just like that. So the outsides on the top and bottom should be the faded and the insides should be the bright bold pattern. Then you're going to get your paper pattern and you're going to pin that centered. Centered means that you have a perimeter edge on all four sides and which you can sew upon. And then you'll simply just pin the pattern to both layers of fabric making sure that it stays straight and neat on all four sides. And then when you're done you're going to thread your needle with a wingspan of thread. A wingspan is from fingertip to fingertip, so make sure that you get a long length of thread, tie it in a knot, so you can complete this project without having to rethread. So one of the things I want to start with today is the back tack, because I noticed that this needed some review. So to begin, I'm going to start at the corner edge of my pattern, and I'm going to put my needle in and put it out about a centimeter. And I'm going to pull my thread up until the knot. Then I'm going to reinsert my needle into the entry and exit holes, and they must be the exact hole. The back tack by hand simulates the back tack button on a sewing machine. So every time you use a sewing machine before you start, you hit the reverse button and you go over and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And that's the way a sewing machine creates a back tack securing the stitches. But by hand, this is how we do it. So I've created a stitch and now I'm going in and out of those same entry holes to make a second stitch over the existing one. And then for my final stitch, which is the third, I'm going in and out those entry and exit holes. And then on the third stitch, I pull tight like that. Now from this point to get to your back tack, you'll simply put your needle back in the original entry hole so that your needle is beneath your sewing and then you'll bring it up ahead a centimeter and then you'll go back a half a centimeter and that is how you go from the back tack to the back stitch. Alright, so here is my first stitch and I'm going to continue sewing around three sides of the pattern. When I'm done sewing three sides of the pattern, so here's my original back tack here, I back stitched three sides and now I'm at the end. I have to end with a back tack too. This is how I do it. So my needle is going through my fabric to finish my last back stitch. Then I'm going to reverse and I'm going to go back into the original exit hole and through my last stitch entry hole. And when I do that and pull, I create a stitch. So then I'm simply just going to go back in and out those holes twice, three times a back tack. Awesome. Okay, so from here I'm going to cut off my thread, remove my pattern, take it off carefully pull my pocket right side out, and I call it right side out because now the right side of the fabric, which is the pattern side, is facing out. I'm going to use my fingers to gently poke out those corners, and then I'll take my polyfill, I'll stuff it inside the pocket, fold in both edges inward and line them up. Once the polyfill is inside, keep those pinched, begin the whip stitch from the upper interior fold, which is here, and begin whipping around the shut to finish up my pincushion.